Hey everyone and welcome to another video. If this is the first time that you're seeing me, I am the Hermit Tarot and this is my YouTube channel. A massive welcome back to everybody that's returning. I'm in a different energy. We got a different setup. We're doing a different style of reading and I'm just really looking forward to sitting down with you today. I don't usually do this if you're new here. If you are returning, it's so lovely to connect one on one like this. Um, I guess I just wanted to trial this out. I don't know if I'll be doing this style of reading again. Um, it's not too much to set up or anything, but sometimes it's just easier to be behind the camera. So we'll see how we go today. Um, but basically I'm going to be doing a Mercury retrograde reading. So you don't have to believe in astrology to be here. You don't have to believe in Mercury retrograde to be here. The goal of this reading is to ask spirit who is returning into your life? What do they want? What do they want to say? Why are they coming back? And can you trust them? Those are the questions that I'm hoping to answer for you today. So if you're intrigued, if you're curious, if you have somebody specifically on your mind, but especially if you don't, because that's my job today is to find out who this person is, then welcome. This reading is probably for you. Now I'm going to have five different groups to choose from because I will not have an extended reading for today's reading. So I'm going to introduce the five groups to you now. They are going to be shown beneath the screen and I'm going to associate five different images to each of the five groups. At the time that I'm filming this, I'm unsure if I want them to be images or if I want them to be symbols. So take your time looking below at each of the, probably this way, five symbols or images. And when you feel most drawn to a specific one, click on the timestamps in the description box or in the pinned comment and join me in your reading. If you do need more help, I will include the one minute meditation after this clip. <clears throat> It is a guided meditation, which is created to walk you through an intuitive process of connecting to your intuition and choosing a group that you feel most drawn to through your intuition. So if you need that help, and if you really want to do it intuitively, stay tuned for that. But as I said before, when you know which of these five groups you're feeling most drawn to, click on the timestamps in the description box or the pinned comment and join me in your reading. So the first thing I want you to do with me is to take in two deep mindful breaths. Breathe in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. Now I want you to focus on clearing your mind. It's natural to have thoughts racing at this point. I want you to embrace each thought as it comes and let it slip as quickly as it came in. Focus on clearing and balancing out these thoughts so that they come and go without a desire to be attached to them. And now, with a rested mind, I want you to think of the first group that comes to your mind. It may be a number, it may be an object that I showed you, it could be a specific colour, it could be a feeling that you felt when I showed you each of the groups today. When you are ready and when you feel confident, select your group and join me in your reading. Hi group one and welcome to your Mercury retrograde reading. It is so lovely to have you all here. You're my first group that I'm filming like this so hopefully everything goes well production wise and I'm just excited to get into it for you. It is so lovely to connect with y'all like this. We're asking spirit today who is returning? Mercury retrograde often brings people from your past back. In the shadow period I've already seen two exes but I didn't really like, anyway, it's complicated, <laughs> like Mercury retrograde. So 
my own experiences have led me here to be this conduit for you so hopefully we can get some clarity i actually want to start with tissue box messages sweet soul so i'm just going to put this microphone down real quick let's do some shuffling actually i can do this with one hand sweet okay spirit tune me into group one's energy please tune me in to group one's energy who is returning into group one's life and why might i add if you really enjoy the tissue box messages i do sell them on my website you can add whatever messages you want to your own tissue box but I have a good little template to kind of get you started on my website. I'm just going to turn this fan off because I did not think about this previously. The irony is the fan was off in the intro and then I decided to turn it on because I was getting hot, but it doesn't work with this style of reading. So let's have a look at what we've got. I'm going to put this microphone down and let's see what we're working with. Okay, so who from your past is returning? We have a friend. A friend is really desperate to reach out to you third eye chakra they've been thinking about you a lot possibly even dreaming about you this friend is also very grateful to have you in their life january could be significant they could be a capricorn or an aquarius i'm hearing that they've been really concerned about what you've been up to this person feels out of the loop they're not really worried but they're just out of the loop we also have jupiter so sagittarius and pisces pisces is the strongest sign at this stage we also have Leo, some fixed energy, some hints as to who they could be. We have some Taurus, so they could have Leo, Taurus, or Pisces in their chart. We also have the 11th house. So I can see that them reaching out will be a surprise. It might be that you haven't heard from this person in quite a while. This person also strikes me as someone who likes to spend a lot of time alone. So there may be somebody who's spent a lot of time doing their own thing. I think that at one point you guys were a part of the same group, group one. You guys may have had common interests or you may have been kind of interested in something very unique. Um, both of you interested in something very unique. Astrology or astronomy could be significant to your friendship. But otherwise, I do think that this person reaching out is a surprise. They are definitely a friend. So you may have messages in a different group as well. That's why I chose to do so many groups. We also have solar plexus. So this person is going to be the one to reach out to you. Gemini, they're going to start by contact, a text, a message, a DM. They seem to be pretty keen to get to know you again and to keep up with you. So it could even start as them liking your story or reacting to whatever you post online. We have some initials here, which will help identify who this person is. We have the letter H. We also have the letter P, so I'm seeing PH, names that start with PH, like Phil, Philomena, Philemon. We have the letter Q. We also have Stephanie coming to mind with that PH. Mm. Q is interesting. We have the letter S. They could have a foreign name in that, like it's not an Anglo-Saxon name, sorry. I'm, a foreign is foreign to everyone who's not in that place, isn't it? So. Their name might not be Anglo-Saxon. We have P as well. Don't know if that's really in frame, sweet soul. I'm holding them up to the camera and then realizing that the camera's blurry. Sorry about that. We also have the letter L, <laughs> literally me. Okay. <clears throat> we have the letter M or W, take it as it resonates. That's not really focusing either, is it? We also have the letter D. So these initials are supposed to be able to help you identify who this person is, but it is possible with it being a general reading that the other messages are what's going to be more helpful. So don't let things take from you in this reading. If they don't resonate, keep in mind that this is a general reading and that I am reading for so many people. Why is it just not focusing? Come on now. Anyway, that's the letter S. Okay, 
And then we also have the 12th house and we have Capricorn. Interesting progression here, 12th house and Capricorn. So just going to rattle off some themes. Obviously friendship is a strong theme between the two of you. A surprise is a strong theme here. This person is definitely a friend. They want to reach out to you because they've been thinking about you a lot. They've been dreaming about you. This person is going to reach out to you. They're going to take action towards you. Their first point of call could be engaging with you online and trying to make contact via social media or through a friend or a family member. They seem to be very keen to catch up. I feel like they have something to boast to you about with Leo here. They want to like, they feel proud of something and they want to catch up with you and see what you think. But I also think this person really wants to catch up with you and hear what you've been up to. There is this feeling of it's been a long time for the two of you. This person and you don't have any bad blood from what I'm seeing. It just feels like you naturally either outgrew each other or drifted apart. With the 12th house here, they might be on the precipice of a new beginning. They could have recently ended something in their life or they have a secret that they want to talk to you about, something they haven't told many people. Um, it's very likely that this person finds you to be a very grounding person, but also someone that really inspires them. They definitely feel like you are a very good friend. Like this person may almost be testing the waters with you because they don't want to impose and because they don't really know what's going on in your life either. So for some reason, they're coming through as somebody who has a lot to kind of check up on with you. They feel really out of the loop. It's possible that you could have even had children in the time that it's been since you've seen them or you've changed jobs or you're in a new relationship or you, you're in you're single again and you haven't been single since you saw this person. Like whatever it is, it just feels like this person is out of the loop. So they really need to catch up with you. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. Let me just get some tarot to see if there's any other clues about who this person is. Spirit, what else can you tell us for group one? Who wants to catch up with group one? We have the Princess of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles in this deck. Is that focusing? I really don't like this camera because sometimes it just doesn't focus. There we go, Page of Pentacles. And at the back of the deck is the Queen of Wands in the reverse position. And it wants to focus on the other tarot deck instead of the one in my hands. Okay. So I'm facing these towards me so that I can read them a little bit better. But basically what I'm seeing with the princess of pentacles is that this is somebody who you may have outgrown. They may be a friend who you knew from a very specific place, especially if you guys were in school together or if you knew each other when you were a lot younger. There is a feeling of naivety about this friendship, like the two of you being together in a very um, naive way, like you knew this person from simpler times. I do think that this person feels like the two of you have a lot in common and they do feel a very easy friendship with you. Like when you two get along and when you're around each other, it's very easy, but you guys don't always talk about deep things. You maybe just kind of catch up and keep things very surface level. There is a bit of competitiveness here between the two of you. This person seems to like to compare themselves to you quite a bit with this queen of wands reversed. So it's likely that they are somebody who is also just wanting to see what you're up to, to kind of gauge what they have to work for in their own life. I do think with this queen of wands reverse, this person is also curious as to what you've achieved and they kind of just miss you, but it's from this energy of it's been a while. So it's not like a deep sentimental attachment, it's more of like a uh, people in my life are asking about you and I don't have any information to tell them. Um, it doesn't make them a bad person, but let's see if you can actually trust this person now. So I'm going to pack these up. Let's ask the big questions. Can group one trust this person?
can group one trust this person spirit first card is the knight of wands coming out upright can group one trust this person spirit We also have the star card coming out upright. Can group one trust this person, spirit? Mm. Can group one trust this person? Thank you. Justice coming out reversed i don't know if you can see that clearly okay so there's a lot of major arcana here at the back of the deck is the seven of wands reversed so actually sorry that's upright justice is the only card reversed so here's the thing sweet souls this person is definitely somebody who you have boundaries with you have parameters they aren't your bestest, bestest, bestest friend in that you don't tell them everything. And I think that this is a really good space to keep this person in. You don't want this person to know too much about you. I personally don't think that they have malicious intent. I think that the two of you are going to have a lot of fun together. I'm seeing a lot of spontaneity, like just, you know, throwing caution to the wind and having fun, not thinking too much. Um, it's likely that this person will get you out of the house and they'll have you do something really exciting, something very fun, a little bit risky, could involve alcohol, it could involve thrill seeking, it could even just be a hike through nature, but it's something that you feel like you haven't been doing enough of lately. With the star card here, this person represents a beautiful part of your past that is very treasured within you. And they also represent a big part of your healing for whatever reason, whether they were active in your healing journey or whether they were more so somebody who you could use as a helpful distraction from whatever it is that you're going through. You don't have to worry about this person having malicious intent, but you do need to worry about you accidentally using them as a distraction from your other responsibilities. I feel like this person and you do need each other in small doses because if you're in each other's lives for too long, you're, you're too spending too much time together, you start to neglect your other responsibilities with justice here reversed. So I do think you just need to watch out for how much time you spend and how much attention you give this person versus the other areas of your life. So let's have a look at why they're coming back. Is there anything else that group one needs to know about why this person is reaching out? Is there anything else group one needs to know? Okay. We have the five of swords in the reverse position. Is there anything else group one needs to know about why this person is reaching out? Wow. We have the Telesma Tarot card, which is my main character card in this deck. Is there anything else group one needs to know? Is there anything else group one needs to know, spirit? Card. We have the Nine of Swords. Why did I just smack my tongue against the top of my what? Anyway, the Nine of Swords upright. Okay. Hmm. At the back of this deck is Force, which is the Strength card in the reverse position. If it will focus, probs not. Probs not. Okay. Let me just have a quick sip of my coffee. So here's the thing. The other thing you need to know about why this person is reaching out is because they may be recently walking away from another connection. They may have recently chosen to distance themselves from another friendship or from another person in their life. 
And they might be coming to you to kind of appease their ego and to distract themselves from what they're going through. I don't think this is a bad thing. I just think that you can pick up on the fact that this person's going through a lot. And instead of them communicating that with you, they seem to be really coming into your life to try to boost their ego and feel like a bit more of a main character. So you guys may not have a deep and meaningful conversation, but the time that they spend with you is really going to be cherished from their side. They seem to really enjoy spending time with you group one, and it's going to have to be you who says, all right, like I've had my fun. It's been great seeing you, but it's time to leave. Like it's time for us to part ways. You could also do the broom trick, which is very old school way of getting rid of people. It's a little bit superstitious. Um, a lot of people don't believe it actually works, but it's the idea of like when you have a visitor in your home that you no longer want there and they've become an unwanted guest, then you take your broomstick and you turn it upside down so that the broom part is at the top. You put it back in the cupboard. You don't have to leave it out. You put it in the cupboard. You could do that to help get rid of this person. <laughs> anyway, that's what it made me think of. Um, it doesn't work with vacuum cleaners, just brooms. The other thing about this person reaching out to you is that they genuinely feel like they might have done something wrong just because maybe they haven't heard from you in a while, group one. So they are wanting to clear the air and just kind of come back in tentatively to spend time with you. Um, Nine of Swords is making me think that this person has some regrets or there's like a guilty feeling under why they're reaching out to you. They really are licking their wounds and trying to boost their ego by being around you. Um, but they also question whether you're holding a grudge against them. So this is going to be really good for your friendship and it's going to be up to you to decide how much more time you want to spend with them. So that's what I'm seeing for you, group one, in terms of who is reaching out to you this Mercury retrograde. I hope that was a helpful reading for you. If you believe you have messages in other groups, go ahead and click on over to that other group. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure to connect with you. I really appreciate your time, your energy, your support. Wishing you peace, prosperity, abundance, happiness, health, wealth, success, and joy on your journey ahead. Look after your beautiful selves until we meet again. Bye. Hi, group two, and welcome to your reading. We're asking spirit who is reaching out to you or who is returning to you from your past this mercury retrograde now technically this is a timeless reading i guess but i am filming this during the mercury retrograde that is occurring in aries so yeah <laughs> let's get into it we're gonna start by having a look at who is returning to you so i'm gonna put this actually i can hold on to this i made that mistake with group one okay spirit tune me into group two's energy please tune me into group two's energy who is returning to group two during mercury retrograde this person is a whole mess wow like granted i was the one that was holding the box but this person is a mess wow okay let's have a look and let's delve into who this person is okay i'm just gonna put the microphone down so in terms of who this person is, we have November. I am grateful for my fears. Some Scorpio energy there. I'm grateful for my fears. We also have remembering. Yeah, this is definitely somebody from your past who you had an ending with, with remembering coming through and Scorpio. There's definitely an ending here. We also have forgive. Holy heck, this couldn't get more clear. Forgive me, please. I'm hearing. Forgive me, please. We have Aquarius. Okay, so this person may be wanting to be friends or you could have friend zoned them. They could even be a friend for Aquarius to come out. Like there could be a friendship here. Why aren't you focusing? Um, the numbers 60 to 65 could be significant. That's actually an age, but that will only resonate for a smaller group of you. The age is 60 to 70, 65 to 75. You also have fifth house. Okay, so this was probably an ex-lover if fifth house is coming out. Are we focused yet? No. 
Holy heck, you guys are going to see all my calluses from gardening and going to the gym. There we go, fifth house. I feel like things ended in a pretty dramatic way for fifth house to come out. Like it may not have been entirely volatile, but it could have been an experience that really became a little bit like petty or it was like to the point where somebody was doing something just to get a rise out of the other person, you know? That's what this kind of feels like. We also have Virgo coming out. So somebody could be a Virgo Leo cusp. Virgo Leo cusp. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There, that's a little bit better. What else do we have, Spirit? Who is this person to group? Two, we have Throat Chakra, Vishuddha. They've been thinking about you. I'm hearing that song, I've been thinking about you. So someone could like older music, music from the 90s or 2000s. Um, we have, someone could be a 90s baby or early 2000s baby. We have love coming out as well. So this is coming across as like a lover or somebody who was like a messy lover <laughs> like maybe it was never look at that the card won't even focus properly maybe it wasn't official but it was definitely messy towards the end so now we've got some initials here we have the letter a coming out these could be yours or their initials we also have what's over here the letter i so some vowels this person could have two vowels in their name we have the letter m or W, take that as it resonates. We also have the letter Q coming out. I'm hearing Qantas, so this person may have traveled recently or they may be traveling. There's a message here about flying. We have the letter V. And the smaller initials are the letter Q again, so double letters, first, middle, last name. They could have double initials, like their first name starts with the same initial as their last name. Well, we have the letter F. I am about to go to New Zealand, but that F made me think of Fiordland. So there's something here about traveling to a place where there's a beautiful mountain and it's very picturesque and scenic and maybe that was this person's wish we have the letter v again so two v's two q's we also have an f and m or a w an a and an i this person is definitely somebody from your past i'm gonna pull some tarot now to see if i can figure out more about who they are spirit who is returning into group two's life Forgiveness is very important in this connection. This person seems apprehensive. They're hoping for the best, but they don't know if you've forgiven them. Who is returning? We have the Four of Wands coming up reversed. We also have the Emperor coming out reversed. So I'm seeing Aries. Who is returning cards on the ground we have the six of cups so doesn't seem to be completely bad blood oh i just heard that taylor swift line isn't that the name of the song anyway i'm not going to pretend to be a swifty we have the queen of pentacles upright okay at the back of this beautiful deck is the Queen of Cups. This deck is the Hermetic Tarot deck as well, just in case that information is useful for you. Queen of Cups at the back of the deck. So here's the thing, sweet soul. I'm seeing that this is definitely somebody who you are no longer close with. They, that's why they're returning because they're, they're not in your life presently. There is this feeling of they've been away from home. So this person could be a traveler or they could have been visiting someone else. It feels like this person with the four of wands reversed is somebody who you're not entirely comfortable being around. 
This is somebody that you're a bit cautious about with your energy. You're not convinced that this person has your best interest at heart. And you're also not convinced that this person is respectful of your peace. So you're concerned a little bit about this person coming in and bringing in chaos or instability. You're mostly worried about this person disrespecting your peace. So it feels like in their absence, you've been able to really focus on stability, to really focus on being more careful about who you invite into your energy. And you seem to be really readjusting to the fact that this person isn't in your life. So it feels a little bit fresh. It feels like this is somebody that you only recently said goodbye to, or this is somebody that you recently felt triggered by again, because you're still in the lurch here of protecting your peace and creating a safe space outside of this person's existence. So with that being said, six of cups, sweet soul, you actually do miss this person. Okay. So if they are an ex, they're not somebody that you don't want to see again. They are somebody who needs forgiveness or there needs to be forgiveness between the two of you, but you actually miss this person. The six of cups tells me that you felt a really strong connection to this person. They're somebody who you felt was a really important part of your life. And even though they're a sentimental part of your past, I think that you would be open to having this person back into your life in the present. The six of cups in this deck really shows us Scorpio's influence, but with the sun there, it's like we're not fully ready to let this person go yet. We have really fond memories of them and we may even be trying to recreate those memories when they come back into our life. So the queen of pentacles, honestly, who is this person to you? They're coming across as somebody who has had some sort of leveling up experience. I do think that this could be somebody who is trying to kind of test where they stand with you right now. They want to know if you will make room in your life for them. And they also want to know with these two queens if you still feel the way that they feel for you. So there's some sort of attachment here between the two of you that is deep, sentimental, intuitive, and they are coming in to really sort of feel that again with you. It feels like it hasn't been long since they left, but they are missing you. You're missing them. And so there is a lot of love here. There is a lot of love here. This is somebody who could even be a family member. They could be a father figure. But if they are a lover, there's somebody who the two of you left things in a very unstable place and you still have love for them. You want this person to come back in. You don't sort of look at them as somebody who's going to destroy your whole life. You look at them as somebody who has the potential to bring you a lot of stability if they're ready to and if they're in the space where they can provide that to you. So that's who this person is. And prominent zodiac signs are Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Cancer, and Scorpio. So let's have a look at if you can trust this person now. All righty, group two spirit. Can group two trust this person? Can group two trust this person, please spirit? Okay, we have the hanged man coming out upright. Can group two trust this person? We also have the Queen of Cups coming out upright. Can group two trust this person, Spirit? Okay. We have the star reversed. And at the back of the deck is the Four of Swords. So, okay, that's not going to fit. <laughs> Sorry, maybe if I do that, yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, 
Oh, underneath the four of swords was the four of coins reversed. So four, 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 four. You got a lot of fours. The emperor, the four of wands, the four of swords, the four of coins. Hmm. Okay. So here's the thing. I feel like you're somebody who is really focusing on yourself. You may be in a state of independence. You may be focusing on your stability. You may be trying to get to a place of peace so that you can continue working towards some of your goals and ambitions. You might also be someone who's very self-sufficient. This person is making you question whether you're ready to extend beyond the current and the thing is, for some of you, you're the ones that's going to be reaching out to this person. <clears throat> I'm going to clarify that in the next part of your reading. But I feel like some of you are wanting to connect with this person more than they are feeling called to contact you. So I feel like, can you trust this person? You seem to really want this person back in your life, group two. This is somebody that you still have a lot of feelings for. There is an awareness here with the hanged man reverse of how your life together has really offered a different perspective. This person has helped you see things in a way that you didn't think you could see things. So I do think that you are wanting to connect with this person. You are wanting to hear what they have to say and you are hoping to really delve deeper into your friendship, your connection, um, there's almost this energy here of you needing to make sure that you're not projecting an idealized version of this person onto them because this person will show you who they are. You need to be careful about repeating mistakes that are harmful for your journey, group two. There's a lot that weighs on this person's shoulders. They have a lot of control over how this is going to work out between the two of you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So I do think with the four of coins at the back of the deck, you're the one that's going to be a bit vulnerable here. You're the one that has to really put yourself out there in this connection in order to give this connection the best chance. And you're the one that has to decide before you even contact this person or before they're even able to open up to you, whether you trust them. Because if you trust them, you're putting yourself in a position where you're the one that seems to be taking a lot of the risk here. So I think that in terms of can you trust this person, there's a lot that the two of you have to talk about when it comes to the future. There's a lot of things here which you already know about, concerns that you already have, that you've already been through, that need to be revisited with this star card reversed so that you're on the same page because you'd come across as two people who are very focused on your own journeys. So trying to come together in any way with the love that you already have for each other, with the feelings that you already have for each other is going to be about giving you that peace of mind that you're not trying to take Neither of you are trying to take from the other person. You're both here to try to add and to try to build upon that individual desire. You, you kind of both still want your freedom. So I want to have a look at why this person is returning into your life now. Spirit, why is this person returning into group two's life? Why is this person returning? We have the seven of wands reversed. Why is this person returning? We have the strength card upright, which is force in this deck. Why is this person returning to group two's life? We have the Knight of Swords reverse. So for a lot of you, you're the one that's initiating contact here. You're the one that's actually lowering your guard and trying to change the situation. The death card, things didn't end the way that you wanted it to. You don't feel happy. You feel like you missed out on an opportunity here. And it feels like you and this person still have a lot of potential. I don't know if I'm allowed to show these cards. There's so much to go biddies. Um, 
you're coming out of a period of low contact. You miss talking to this person. It could be likely that your conversations just ended very amicably, but I do think that there is minimal contact right now and you are trying to lower your guard and trying to put your pride aside to contact this person and to kind of see where they're at. I think from their perspective, they are returning into your life and they don't really know what to make of this gesture. The Knight of Swords, they're a little bit taken off guard. They feel a little bit defensive with the these cards. <laughs> they feel defensive and there is this question mark over whether you were just being impulsive. They're like, is this going to be consistent or is group two just being impulsive? This person is scared to rely on you. They're scared to actually take your words for gospel and they're scared to put that much belief into your actions. They're almost under the impression that you're not going to say what you, you're not gonna do what you say they feel like you're going to change your mind and they really want proof first with the seven of wands reverse. This is somebody who I think is having a hard time trusting you. They're going to be very careful about investing energy into your connection until they feel like you are actually doing what you say you're going to do, especially with these two cards in the middle here. This is a strong energy of transformation but needing evidence that things are changing this person will only become more of a permanent fixture in your life if they can see evidence that you two are growing and changing for the better especially with the death card i'm hearing let the past be the past and let's focus on a brand new future um we have to address the water under the bridge though and with the strength card here, I do think that your egos might get the best of you. This is not going to be a smooth return. So that's what I'm seeing for you, group two. This could be the confirmation you needed to reach out to this person now that you know how they're going to react and you know what you need to do to win their trust. It's up to you if this is really what you want. I do have other guidance readings if you need more help, but I'm going to have to end your Mercury retrograde reading here. If you feel you have messages in other groups, go back to the timestamps and join me in that group. But if this is where you are leaving me, thank you so much for trusting me with your messages. I wish you peace, prosperity, abundance, happiness, health, wealth, joy, and success on your journey ahead until our paths cross again. Bye. Hi, group three, and welcome to your Mercury retrograde reading. In today's reading, we're asking spirit who is returning into your life. So the goal of this reading is to have a look at who from your past is coming back in during Mercury retrograde season. I'm filming this in Mercury retrograde that is occurring in March and April, um, but it could technically be a timeless reading depending on when Mercury retrograde is going to occur for you next. So Google it if you need confirmation and let's get into it. Starting off with who this person is. Spirit, who is returning into group three's life? Group three, please, spirit. Okay. Oops. Wow. Okay. I'm having a hard time pulling this out. Let me put this down for a second. Who is returning into Mercury's life spirit? Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this person is just a little bit reluctant to come back or if there's a feeling here of you wanting this more than them. We have the letter H coming out first. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for the tissue box messages. It helps the camera focus a little bit better. We also have I wish. Okay. Interesting. I wish. We also have... November, I'm grateful for my fears. So Scorpio energy, this is definitely somebody who I feel is a bit of an inconsistent person. I'm feeling more Sagittarius with that November than Scorpio. November Sag and November, Sag um, November Scorpio. We have maybe coming out as well. Okay, 
How will they know this person? We have the letter I, so I'm seeing hi. This person might not know what they want from you when they reach out to you. They're coming across as very casual, just testing the waters. We also have I'm grateful for my job. So this person could be very focused on their work. They could be someone that's very ambitious or they spend a lot of time working. We also have thinking coming out and heart. So this is definitely somebody who you had a lot of feelings for. There's a message here of this person being someone who you definitely saw yourself opening up to, but I'm feeling like they didn't open up fully to you. There's an energy of this person holding back. It feels like this person held back group three. I had to think there for a second. We also have the letter Y. So these letters could be their initials, first, middle, or last name. It could be yours, just to confirm that you've picked the right group. We have the letter O, we have the letter T, we have the letter S. Um, do we have any other letters? No. Okay, so other messages we have is air. So this person's been spending a lot of time thinking about you. Crown chakra, they may have seen a lot of synchronicities about you too. They may have been seeing your name everywhere. They may have been hearing about you. Um, this person almost feels guided to connect to you. And you may have been feeling similarly as well with crown chakra being here. We also have the seventh house. So this is coming across as an ex. If they're not an ex who you were in a relationship with, they're definitely an ex who you thought you were going to have a relationship with. They are somebody that you would have dated, somebody that you had a partnership with. Some of you were even married to this person. Some of you were with that, um, sorry, I just need to wipe my eye really quickly. I always keep tissues in my pockets just in case my eye leaks. Um, I just feel like, this person and you have been mirroring thoughts of each other. You two have both been thinking about each other and it's to the point where you're almost manifesting each other with the amount of energy that you're investing into this through your thoughts. I do want to get tarot because I need to have a look at how you know this person. Spirit, who is returning into group three's life? Who is returning into group three's life, please, spirit? Who is returning into group three's life? Mm -hmm. Who is returning into group three's life? Okay, at the back of this deck is the Knight of Wands upright. And the cards that I'm being shown are the Ten of Swords reversed. So I'll let that be there so you can see it the way that it's meant to be. I might move that around as well. We also have the Empress upright. And we have the Page of Pentacles. So the way that I was showing them to you is how they came out. This card came out first, that card came out second, this card came out third. The only reason that matters is because I feel like this is somebody who you have had some sort of ending with, okay? I'm seeing signs here of a betrayal, of feeling like you were let down through their actions. Their actions didn't match their words. This person may have promised you something, or they may have strongly implied that they were going to do something that they ultimately failed to do. Their actions did not align with the outcome. The Ten of Swords reversed is also a feeling of being let down and you having to put an end to this or risk getting hurt even further. By the time things really hit a full stop, you guys could have been drawing a lot of assumptions. Communication might have really slowed down and it could have resulted in you feeling like you didn't say everything that you wanted to say. But I feel like this person definitely held back group three. I feel like this person didn't say everything that they could have said as well. And I think that the way that you know this person is that there was a lot of potential there was a strong attraction, right? This person might have even been very charming at one point, but they were very hot and cold. They weren't, in, they weren't consistent enough. They came across as somebody who had a lot of 
passion and when they felt like it they probably really came on very strong towards you they probably gave you a lot of attention but as soon as something else was as exciting their attention went into a different direction this doesn't mean that they cheated on you for a lot of you it just means that they're they were easily distracted they were somebody who was chasing something and when they weren't chasing you they were chasing other interests whatever that interest was they could have been a creative person as well or a traveler so either they were like a musician or a creative person or they were somebody who travels a lot they were somebody who came from a different place to you a different background different culture i do think that with this princess of pentacles there was a lot of potential here things really started off promising right there is a feeling of the things starting off promising and the empress might have even been a display of you two having a shared future together in which you could imagine yourselves growing together and maybe even having children together or just investing in something that you wanted to nurture together i do think that this is somebody who could have a very compassionate side. They may work with children or there may be a connection here to them displaying acts of affection and being a very nurturing, almost maternal person. Um, but I think the Empress is resemblant of the fact that this connection was one that you thought was going to progress further just because of the potential, but also because I do think promises were made or expectations were set. I'm seeing Sagittarius. I'm also seeing um, Taurus. I'm seeing Gemini. And I am seeing, I want to say Capricorn, but like there just wasn't consistency there. There's also some Libra. But I think that more than anything, the signs are reflective of traits. I don't think that that could have been this person's zodiac sign. I think that they were exhibiting those traits of those zodiac signs throughout the period in which you were working on a relationship with this person. And then their inconsistencies led to a separation because you just had to say, well, enough is enough. So that's who is returning. Let's have a look at if you can trust them and also why they are returning into your life. Alrighty, group three, please, spirit. Can group three trust this person? Can group three trust this person, please, spirit? Can group three trust this? Okay. So, <laughs> the tarot is not going to lie to us. I don't know if you saw that, but all the cards just fell on the ground. Can group three trust this person, Spirit? We have the seven of cups upright. Can group three trust this person? We have Telesma Tarot. That's my main character card coming out. Behind that, we also have the Two of Cups reversed. Can group three trust this person, Spirit? We have the Empress showing up reversed as well. And at the back of this deck is the Queen of Swords upright. So I think you should really be practicing discernment with this person. You really need to practice discernment. You can't afford to let this person put you in a position where they repeat the past mistakes. Can you trust this person? This person doesn't really know what they want when they approach you. I've got to be honest with you. They're just recognizing that there's a big part of themselves that isn't happy. And they think that they can fulfill their emotional needs by contacting you and by coming back into your life. So you're going to notice that when this person comes towards you, they're going to feel confused and you've got to practice your discernment with the Queen of Swords and make sure that you don't let their confusion confuse you. You've got to know where you stand and you've got to be very clear about what you 
communicate and what you want. I did post a reel where I'm wearing the exact same outfit on my Instagram. The caption of that reel could be very helpful for you. My Instagram is in the bio. Um, this isn't, I mean, obviously it is a plug, but I genuinely think that what I put in that caption relates to this group. And I don't think that was a coincidence. So interestingly enough, I think that this person misses you, but I think that they don't have realistic expectations of themselves and of the connection with the two of cups reversed you two still have differences the issues that drove a wedge between you are still there and as much as this person misses you i feel like they haven't changed enough to make any changes to the connection so this is an opportunity for your connection to reinvent itself but you still are in a position where you've got a lot more to lose than this person and when I talk about loss here, I'm talking about a material loss. I'm talking about you risking your future, your stability, your growth, your passions, your interests in order to invest energy into this connection. So I think you've got to be very discerning because I think that this person is going to show you that you need to put yourself first because they're still putting themselves first, group three. They come across as a very self-focused person. And I think that the issues that drove a wedge between the two of you are still prevalent. So let's have a look at why they're reaching out to you. spirit why is this person reaching out to group three we have the nine of cups reversed yeah they're not happy they're saying fix me why is this person reaching out to group three spirit why is this person reaching out to group three we have the seven of wands upright why is this person reaching out to group three? We have the three of coins upright. And behind that is the queen of wands. So this person is still very attracted to you. You still have what they need. I'm hearing, who is it? <laughs> Sings that song. If you want it, you got it. I got what you need. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who is that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I can't remember. The back of the deck is the nine of wands. So I'm going to chuck the nine of wands here. And let's talk about it. I feel like this person genuinely wants to be a part of your life. But they want it for their own gain because they think that you have a lot to offer. And at some point you were looking at them and seeing them as somebody that had a lot to offer. But at the time that they return into your life, there's an emptiness that they're projecting onto you. And they want you to fill that emptiness, group three. They're looking for your energy, your joy, they like the way that you make them feel. And this is where you've got to be discerning because I think that there's parts of this person that you really enjoy as well. But then there's reminders in their actions and their behaviors of how self-focused they are. They are coming back to you to prove something to you with the seven of wands here. They seem very determined to win you over. They might even come across as somebody who's put their pride to the side, you know, in order to come back in. I think that this person has a flair for dramatics. They could have a lot of fire in their charts. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They come across as a bit dramatic, like they're coming in and going, making a big display of like, look what I had to do to get back here with you. Even my face feels dramatic as I'm talking about this. I'm not this expressive usually. 
I think that this person is very attracted to you with this queen of wands, very attracted to you, group three. And they do really want what you have, but it just feels like you have a lot more to lose here than they have to lose. They gain a lot by being with you. So use that discernment to really decide whether this is somebody that you want to spend more time with. If I'm honest with you, I want to make a prediction. I think a lot of you are going to give this person a chance. And I think that this person is going to prove to you that they haven't changed. And there's nothing wrong with giving them a chance as long as you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay? This person will very quickly, before Mercury retrograde is fully finished, they will very quickly show you that they can't be consistent and they will very quickly remind you of how hot and cold and impulsive they are because what they're seeking is not in this connection this person is a hollow vessel and they've lost their sense of purpose they've lost their spark so they're projecting that onto you because you're interesting you're exciting you're attractive you're fun you give them that temporary feeling of having a sense of purpose and direction but what they need is to find that for themselves and to stop stealing that from you. So that's what I'm seeing for you, group three. If you feel you have messages in other groups, click on the timestamps to join me in your reading. Otherwise, thank you so much for all your time and your energy and your support right here on YouTube. It's been a pleasure to read for you. I wish you peace, prosperity, abundance, happiness, health, wealth, joy, and success on your journey ahead until our paths cross again. Bye. Hi group four and welcome to your reading. If you chose this symbol, I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere or this image, haven't really decided what it's going to be yet, then this is going to be your reading. Welcome group four. We're asking the spirit about Mercury retrograde. So I'm going to be having a look at who is returning for you this Mercury retrograde. At the time that I'm posting this video, the Mercury retrograde that I'm referencing is the one that's going to be in March and April. Um, but it is a timeless reading. So Google when the next Mercury retrograde is and apply it to your situation. Without further ado, let's get your reading started. Who is returning into your life? Group four, please, spirit. Who is returning into their life? You guys got a lot of messages. Alrighty. Let me put this microphone down. And let's unpack this. Okay, so starting with the bigger pieces of paper, we have, I'm grateful for my job. I'm seeing 420. This is the 15th of April. That time could be significant for some reason. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for the tissue box messages. Um, what other big pieces of paper do we have here? We also have, I'm grateful for my twin. Okay. So I wrote this in reference to the idea of twin flames. You don't have to believe in the concept. I'm going to intuit it once I have all your messages out. Oh my God. I'm getting a lot of hiccups, a lot of energy in this group. Maybe a lot of you picked group four. We have forgive coming out. We also have trying. Wow. Forgive and trying. We also have the zodiac sign Cancer. Ages 19 to 25 could be significant. We have the zodiac sign Leo. The ages 25 to 30. So 19 to 30 so far could be significant. Um, we also have Libra with the uh, seventh house. Sorry, about to say twelfth house. We have Jupiter. So Sagittarius and Pisces showing up. And we also have Mars. Other messages here include the solar plexus chakra, Manipura. Um, throat chakra, Vishuddha. Eighth house of transformation, birth, death, taxes sex interesting 
I think most of these are initials, but let's just open these last two, three messages. We have forgive again, you guys. This person is really wanting your forgiveness. If that'll focus, how will I hold it like that? Like that. Is that showing up? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to chuck this at the back with the other forgive. We have learning, forgive, trying, now learning. Wow. Forgive, forgive, trying, learning. I mean, it is Mercury retrograde, so that's when the demons come out, I guess. We have Capricorn coming up for you. Sorry, it's not really focusing until I put it down. In terms of initials, these could be yours or theirs, and these initials are more as confirmation. So it's not always possible in a general reading for us to get initials for everybody. So just take what resonates. Don't let the rest take from you. We have the letter M or W. We have the letter I. There's the letter R. I'm seeing Mira or Mirn. We have Y. We have the letter I again. We have the letter P. We have the letter F. The letter V. G. Z or Z, however you say it, wherever you're from. We also have the letter W again. And we have the letter R again. So a lot of repeat numbers, as well as this beautiful little charm, the purple rose. So first things first, I can definitely see that this person is looking for your forgiveness. Forgiveness is really important in this connection. This person feels like they have to appeal to your compassionate nature. They are referencing the fact that your connection has been through a lot, okay? Your connection has been through endings. Your connection has been through transformations. There's a strong message here of you two feeling like you are still connected to each other in some way. So this person is looking at this connection as something that is associated with divine timing, they believe that your connection is very transformative. It's very purposeful. They think that your connection has a lot of meaning. And this is also how you can recognize this person, group four. They, you, Spirit's saying that you believe this person is also a big part of your life, even if you're not in the best of places right now. I am seeing references to parts of Europe, parts of... Um, especially like Eastern Europe or like Scandinavia or um, parts of the, like I'm seeing references to Arabic countries, countries that speak Arabic. I feel like this person is someone who has really broadened your experiences. They may have, because of the connection, gotten you into tarot in the first place or made you more curious about soul connection, soul ties. There is this feeling here of this person being a big part of why you decided to seek for more outside of yourself. Um, I think that this is someone that you're also thinking of, but I also feel like there needs to be a conversation the next time that this person comes into your life because you're at a point here where you're ready to make some big changes to your journey and you want to know if this person is able to be a part of those changes. There seems to be an understanding here of the fact that this person has their own thing going on and you seem to be feeling like they don't have to join you. Like there's almost this energy of like, ugh, like you almost would have to beg for them to be a part of your life. Like you seem to feel like they really don't have to if they don't want to. And yet there is also this awareness that they have a lot of forgiveness to ask for as well. So this seems to be a connection that has a lot of potential for partnership. Um, or you may have been married to this person at some point. It's confusing for me because it doesn't seem to be conventional as much as it tries to be. 
with Mars and the seventh house here, there's a strong desire for this connection to be conventional, but it's just not. It's like the more that you try to force this connection to be something, the more it really resists and the more transformative your relationship with this person is. So I do think that this is somebody that you've been through a lot with, and I kind of want to get tarot out to see if there's anything else that I'm missing, if I can pull any more information here. Spirit, how will group four know this person? Who is returning into group four's life? Who is returning? Into group four's life. Okay, one more card, please, Spirit. Um. Okay. All righty. At the back of the deck is the Four of Cups. And we also have the Nine of Swords. Okay. These cards are upright. Let me just pull you out a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to keep those bottom deck energies. We're going to put the rest of the deck over there. First card that came out is the Six of Swords upright. We also have the Princess of Cups. <laughs> also have the Two of Cups reversed and those bottom deck energies as well. So yeah, I'm straight away seeing that this is somebody who feels like they missed out on something significant with you. They are somebody who felt like they could have had a lot more with you than what they ended up with. So you're definitely in separation currently. With the two of cups reversed, it feels like the, what led to your separation was the fact that you two just couldn't see eye to eye. You couldn't compromise. You couldn't be equally invested in each other's points of views and opinions. This person feels like you just couldn't settle. Like you guys both wanted different things and you ultimately had to agree to disagree and forced each other into separation. This is somebody who has a habit of going and coming. However, they don't feel impulsive. It feels like whenever they go and whenever they come back, there's like this peaceful period where you're both able to just collect yourselves and come back with purpose. So this person is returning with purpose. They have a conversation in mind. They want to communicate. They're not going to beat around the bush. They're not going to be ignorant. They want to talk about things. They want to address things. They also do want more of that playfulness between the two of you. The Page of Cups is referencing an apology to this group. I feel like this person wants to apologize, but I also think they want to have a playful, lighthearted conversation. Now that there's water under the bridge and the water's calmed down a little bit um, and things aren't as heated as they were, they want to talk to you about what they've realized and about some of their feelings. I feel like this person and you are often really good at creating space for each other. Like I think that historically your communication is pretty good. Like you both receive each other pretty well because you give each other the space to cool down and come back. But I also think that at this stage, this person doesn't really know how deep to go with you. So they're gonna come in a little bit more casual or a little bit more fun. And it may be a little bit frustrating for you because you're going, hmm, like I know this person. Why are they acting like this? I know that they've been going through stuff. They have definitely been overthinking your situation. They have regrets, they even have guilt. And there's a lot that they want to talk to you about. So for some of you, this is a sibling you had a falling out with. For a lot of you, this is a partner you had a falling out with. But for all of you, this is somebody who you had visioned a successful partnership with, either in business or in marriage. Um, you could imagine the two of you really creating opportunities for each other and, and moving forward in a very dynamic way while also honoring your individual goals and needs. I do think that this person 
is someone that you've gotten readings on before, not just um, pick a card readings, but if you've paid for a reading, you've asked them to intuit information about this person. But outside of that, I do think that forgiveness, trying and learning are big themes in this relationship. So let's have a look at, can you trust this person? Okay. Group four, please, spirit. Can they trust this person? Can group four trust this person? Can group four trust this person? We have the devil card coming out reversed. Can group four trust this person, spirit? We also have the star card coming out reversed. We have the ten of cups reversed. And we have the two of swords upright. At the back of the deck is the princess of cups reversed. No. <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> Holy, what a shock. I was not expecting that. I really thought that you could trust this person because of everything that you've been through. I was like, surely this person is trustworthy, but no, they feel like they've been manipulated into communicating with you. So there could be somebody else or this person is feeling like you're the last resort. Like they have to because they've got nothing else that they can do be careful this person is very deceptive they don't actually mean what they say but they are also trying to manipulate this situation the devil card reversed no you can't trust this person i also think that they're being a lot well they think they're being a lot more cunning than what they are like I think that you will be able to wow look at the light coming through there that is insane they think that they've tricked you you're gonna see in this person's behavior that you can't trust them because there's a huge part of this person that hasn't changed group four they are exactly who they were but also with the devil card reversed they can't hide the fact that they need you more than you need them. There's something about them coming back to you that feels very last resort. Like, well, I burned all my other bridges or I'm only doing this because so-and-so twisted my arm. Um, they want instant gratification here. They are going to try to talk about things to move forward, but they may also just try to put a band-aid on the situation instead of really delving deeper and really taking ownership. This person is prone to glossing over big issues. I also just think that they can't genuinely see how they've hurt you. With the star card reversed, they're trying to put a band-aid on this situation. They don't wanna take accountability. They don't want to step in your shoes. They don't wanna see things from your perspective. They're very focused on themselves and what they can get out of this situation. And they're even stubbornly refusing to acknowledge certain things that have bothered you. With the 10 of cups reversed, sweet soul, you've got other people. This person does not need to be a part of your happy ending. Two of Swords, I would say that you can afford to just take time. You don't have to cut this person out of your life straight away, but can you trust them? No, trust your intuition, trust your instincts, trust what you're seeing with your two eyes. I'm just assuming that you have two eyes, sorry about that. Trust what you're seeing, trust what you're hearing, trust what you're feeling. You don't have to cut this person off forever, but the next time they return into your life, especially if it's during Mercury retrograde, they are not trustworthy. They are very prone to manipulation and they aren't going to be able to empathize with you. They won't even give you the proper apology that you need. So let's have a look at why they're actually reaching out. Why is this person reaching out to group four, please, spirit? Why is 
is this person reaching out to group for? We have the strength card reversed, which is force in this deck. Why is this person reaching out to group four? We also have the magician. So we've got Leo and I want to say Gemini, but Virgo as well. So a lot of zodiac signs. There could have been a lot of people involved in this connection or especially when things ended, it could have been very messy and it could be other people that are trying to get the two of you back together. Mutual friends or mutual family. Because they don't want to see the two of you fighting. Okay. We also have the King of Coins. I'm hearing it's sad for me to see you like this. The back of the deck is the queen of coins. I think there's somebody in your circle who really wants the two of you to be back on good terms. This person is reaching out to you because they do think that the two of you have a lot to gain, but they also feel sentimentally attached to you. I do think that there's parts of this person that is too proud I'm hearing too proud to beg. So I, I can't remember if it was your reading or the last reading, but I think I talked about somebody having to come back in and beg. But they're going to be too proud to beg. So why are they returning? Somebody else wants them to return. They're not revealing all their cards. This is somebody who is really being careful. They're pulling their information. They're protecting themselves. They're not playing all their cards at once. They're not showing you their hand of cards. They don't want you to know their next move. They're being very strategic. They're also being very careful and cautious. Um, for some of you, this is absolutely manipulation, magician, devil, the star reverse. Like they don't care about you. They only cared about themselves. But for others of you who genuinely believe that the person that I'm talking about is not a bad person. I just think that they're very self-focused. This is a very selfish energy. Leo reversed with the magician. How can you benefit me? Especially with this king of coins. If you have wealth, oh my gosh, I don't think I'm allowed to show this card. Whoops. <laughs> Let's just do that. I've noticed a lot of readers doing this lately. Um... What can you give me, especially if you are successful, if you have your own thing going on, if you're a business owner, if you're materially successful, financially successful, if you have stability, if you have any form of material abundance, this person is like, okay, it is in my best interest to reconnect with group four because they have a lot to offer me. So they want what you have. They also want to make this other person happy but they aren't being completely honest with you and they will let their pride get in the way. So that's what I'm seeing for you group four. That is who is returning. That is, can you trust them? And that is why they're coming back. So please look after yourself, trust your instincts, trust your intuition, trust your experience and what reality through your experiences is trying to show you. And if you think you have messages in other groups, go back to the timestamps and click on that group. Sending you so much love and light on your journey, sweet soul. Look after your beautiful self. Thank you for all of your support, your energy, and your attention right here on YouTube. And I will connect with you in another video. I wish you peace, prosperity, abundance, happiness, health, wealth, success, and joy on your journey ahead. Bye. Hi group five and welcome to your Mercury retrograde reading. We're asking spirit who is returning back into your life. I wasn't wanting to say the word back. I just wanted to say who is returning, but it's quite clear that a lot of these people left for a reason. You're my last group. I'm excited to see what comes out for you. I'm kind of hoping we get something different, but I'm going to leave it in spirit's hands. Whatever is meant to be will be. So group five, let's get into it. Let's have a look at who is returning. Who is returning into group five's life, please, spirit? Who is returning? Okay. Ah, not my fingers getting caught. All right, there we go. 
Let's put this microphone down and let's have a look at who we've got. Okay, spirit. We have, I'm grateful for my options. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm grateful for my options. We also have December. I'm grateful for my hard work. So the 18th of April could be significant. That time is coming up at the time that I'm filming this. Um, December month could be significant as well. In terms of zodiac signs, that's Sagittarius and Capricorn. Capricorn again with I am grateful for you. There's also some Aquarius energy there. We have thinking coming out. We also have sacral chakra. Speaking of coming out, the sun just came out too, sweets. So I don't know how we're going to go with this reading. We'll just see what happens because the light has been a little imbalanced compared to when I first set up the situation. We have the 12th house coming out. Mm -hmm. This person could be in jail. I'm just throwing it out there, okay? That's not going to apply to all of you. We have the 8th house coming out. Debts. Taxes. Mm -hmm. We also have Leo. So the ages of 25 and 30 could be significant. What else do we have? We have Root Chakra, Muladhara coming out. And in terms of initials, this could be yours or their initials. Oh, look at that sun. E. Like I want to close that window, but also that's my only source of light. So we're just going to have to deal with it. I'm so sorry. Um, these initials, oh, look, that is so bad. <laughs> these initials are aimed to kind of add additional confirmation. So it could be yours or theirs, first, middle, or last name. We have the letter V, we have the letter G, and we have the letters Q. I'm just going to show them to you like this because they might become less focused once I put them down with this sun energy. I mean, I love the sun, but when you use natural lighting to film, it's a little bit obnoxious. We also have the letter U. We have the letter T. We have the letter V. And we have the letter S. Oops, oh no, back here. So U, T, V, S. Hmm. I just saw another blue card, so let me pull that out. Earth, earth energy is very prominent in this reading. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna do this to help the lights kind of, <laughs> to help the light readjust. Um, between you and this person, there was definitely an ending with the 12th house and the 8th house here, there was definitely an ending. This person could have been somebody who's been out of your life for quite some time, um, years even, if not months, okay? So it was a clear ending between the two of you. It wasn't too, it could have been messy, but it was very definite. It was obvious that between the two of you, there was an ending. This person has been thinking about you and you have been thinking about them too. There was a lot of attraction between the two of you. There was a lot of passion. There was a lot of chemistry. There may have even been sexual frustration because this person is coming across as somebody who is trying to achieve what they didn't achieve with you. So there is this energy of this person being a little selfish, especially with the sun at the moment <laughs> being the way that it is. I love that. But I think that you would view this person as a selfish person. At least your last interaction with them made you realize how selfish they are. Selfishness aside, this person is a hard worker. They've probably been spending a lot of time working and you would recognize them as somebody that has been working really hard as well. I think that this person could be very materially successful or they could come across as somebody who can easily make things happen. And once they put their head to it, they put their mind to it, they put their money to it, they make it happen. I think that this person is very independent. 
I think that at the time that they reach out to you, they are going to have other options. They aren't sort of looking at you as like their only option. And you're going to be aware of the fact that this person has other options. You're going to be aware of the fact that they're back out there. Um, for some of you, this is a romantic ex. For others of you, this is an ex-friend who seems to be keeping themselves busy with other people. I think that for all of you, this is somebody who definitely is coming back into your life just to kind of see where they stand with you. I think that this would be a one-off situation where you guys would just hook up. But I also think with Root Chakra here, they're a bit hopeful that things could reset between the two of you. So I'm going to pull Tarot now and see if there's any other information I can intuit. Who is returning into Group 5's life spirit? For some of you, this person owns their own business. Or they could be a bit of an entrepreneur. They could make money on social media. Or you could. And that's your confirmation that you picked the right group. They could also work in health. I don't know about that. We'll see. Sorry, I'm just talking to spirit. <laughs> I realized I just said something that you didn't know what I was talking about. All right. Spirit, how will group five recognize this person? Who is returning? Okay. We have the ace of swords coming out reversed. We also have the Five of Pentacles coming out reversed. Sorry, I really just want it to be able to focus for a little bit. Okay. We also have the Strength card showing up reversed. Yeah, they're very selfish. I think this person is selfish. Like, I'm not trying to take sides. Like, obviously, I'm reading for you. So there is that intrinsic desire to be a little bit more viewer-based, but... I just think that this person was a little bit of a fool, sweet soul. I think they really dropped the ball with you. The foolish card is at the back of the deck, which is the foolish man in this deck. Um, so I think they were a bit of a fool with you. Not a fool for you, a fool with you. They dropped the bag. I think that there is a feeling of I made a mistake. This person made a mistake with you. It was enough for you to go, well, I'm done. You know, this could have been a connection that was in its early stages and you decided to nip it in the bud before it could get more deep and before things progressed. Um, it feels like this is somebody that you still think about, but it also feels like with the five of pentacles reverse, like this isn't somebody that you are actually missing. This is somebody who you would have to see significant change in in order for you to want more with them. The Five of Pentacles Reverse, they showed you through their actions that they didn't have what you need. This is somebody that either rejected you or you rejected them or you felt very rejected by them because they didn't create room in their life for you with the Five of Pentacles Reversed. When you were with them, money could have been an issue, but you know now that they've gotten their life on track. I still stand by the fact that this is probably an ex from years ago. Like this is somebody who, if it hasn't been years, then you've definitely dated other people in between, or you've had other more meaningful connections in between. I think with the strength card reversed, I do think that this person, you saw the worst of them. They're coming across as very selfish. They're coming across as somebody who you have a lot of history with. And this person may have even seen the worst of you. Like you may have ended things in a very dramatic way where you were just trying to hurt them because they hurt you. And anger got the best of you. You have karma still tied to this person because of how you reacted to what you found out about them and your situation. So that's what I'm seeing in terms of who they are. Let's have a look at if you can trust them now. I'm going to pack this up and get some other cards out. Can group five trust this person, spirit? Group five, trust this person. OK, 
Okay, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse position. Can group five trust this person? Cobras could be significant or snakes. Can group five trust this person? Can group five trust this person, spirit? We also have the nine of wands showing up reversed. Can group five. Okay, we have the knight of swords showing up reversed. And at the back of the deck is the four of coins reversed. Something flew on the ground. I'm just going to flip it over. Three of coins reversed, ace of wands reversed as well. So I'm going to keep these off camera and I'm just going to refer to them back here. So the thing is group five. I do think with the eight of swords reversed, they may have some helpful information to share to you. Eight of swords reversed is almost them being able to show you either through their actions or their communication that you didn't have the full picture. You didn't have the full story. And you may have even villainized this person in ways where them coming back into your life is going to help you get more closure. It doesn't mean that you're going to want a happily ever after with this person, but you're going to able to humanize them a little bit more. And you're going to be able to see the situation in a way where you don't feel like much of a victim anymore and they don't feel like a villain. So I do think that them returning into your life could have some healing effects. I actually think you need to be as cautious and as guarded as you will be because naturally your response is to be very like, oh, why are you back? Like, what are you doing here? And I don't think that that's a bad response. I'm seeing signs here of you having healthy boundaries, of you being very open, but guarded. And I think that that's good because you're open to what they have to say. You're open to what they have to show you, but you're not just going to bend over backwards and completely open yourself up to this person. You're letting them show you and you're reacting. So I do think that you can trust this person to approach you. I just think that you have to trust their actions, not their words. There's something that they say to you that is very enlightening and it instantly offers you closure. Whatever they say makes you go, wow, like you're kind of glad that they did reach out to you because you're like, hell yeah, I had a big impact on your life. Like, of course, you're going to be thinking about me still. But with the Knight of Swords reversed, it's not enough to make you want to take this person's words for promises. So I do think that overall, this is a good opportunity to get closure and to really prove that this connection was not all in your head. But I don't see you really building a future out of this. So let's have a look at why this person is reaching out to you. Spirit, why is this person returning into group five's life? Why is this person returning into group five's life we have the six of swords reversed i'm hearing that song i just called to say i love you why is this person returning spirit we also have the three of coins reversed why is this person returning? I'm hearing state your business. Wow. So there's people around you that are very protective of you because of how this person made you feel, because of how things ended. People around you would probably be like, nah, don't give them a bar of your attention. But you feel like you need to do this for your own closure. And so do they. So do they. We have the two of cups. At the back of the deck is the Six of Wands, which I'm going to hold like that because modesty is a thing on YouTube. Um, uh, I don't know if I can show that. Here, let me do this. <laughs> there you go, Six of Wands. Okay. So here's the thing. I feel like 
this person is coming back because they did feel a very strong connection to you. This person actually sees you as somebody who they could have, would have, should have worked things out with if they were less, if they were more experienced. There are references here to self-sabotaging behavior and also being greedy. This person may have thought that the grass was greener on the other side or they may have tried to have their cake and eat it too. They may have been too focused on other areas of their lives or other people that they didn't really prioritize time with you. I feel like this person thinks that you got them and there's a lot of people in their life that they don't feel like they connect with as well as they connect with you. So they do actually want to kind of rekindle that connection with you. But I feel like part of them also believes that they owe you an explanation with the six of swords group five. They feel like they owe you an explanation, like they owe you um, an apology or a conversation. I also think with the three of coins reverse, this person kind of wants to set the record straight because they may think that a lot of the assumptions that you have about them aren't true. It's giving third party interference, but like friends or family, they may think that other people got into your ear and are filling your ears with information about them that isn't true. They want a private moment with you. So I think that this person would want to meet up with you or they would want to have a big conversation over the phone because they need to get a lot off their chest and they also don't want there to be any miscommunications. They don't want there to be any assumptions. They really want to just lay it all out there. With the two of cups here, I think this person is looking for a heart to heart conversation with you. They want to sit down and talk to you. Now, for some of you, it hasn't been years, but it probably has been months. I feel like the reason why that feeling of there being so much time that has passed came up is because you've been actively moving on with your life, group five. This is someone that was a big part of your past, a part in your history where you weren't as mature as you are now. You weren't as emotionally, um, I want to say content as you are now, but I also feel like you were a little bit more emotionally immature with this person. And likewise with them, I think that you're in a different place in life now. So that's why it feels like it's been a lot of time, but it just definitely feels like this person is a big part of your past and they will reach out to you because they are looking for validation. <clears throat> they really enjoy your attention, but they also want this deep and meaningful conversation with you. This person genuinely thinks that you are a soulmate or someone who they have a connection with that they just haven't been able to find anywhere else. So remember what I said about the whole, can you trust them message? Okay. Go back and listen to that again, if you need further support, but that is what I'm seeing for you when it comes to who is returning into your life group five. If you believe you have messages in other groups, go check the timestamps out and join me in that group's reading. Otherwise, thank you so much for all your time, energy, and support. I really appreciate you for letting me read for you in terms of Mercury retrograde season and beyond. I wish you peace, abundance, happiness, health, wealth, success, and joy on your journey ahead. Look after your beautiful self until we meet again. Bye.